Live from Barker, Colorado, it's the Ray Wilson Stand-Up Comedy Show with humorous anecdotes, capers, bits, gags, sketches, amusing stories, mildly entertaining epistles. Did you ever see these people that, that pull like about, you know, five or ten feet beyond the line at an intersection? And you have to say to yourself, what do these people think these lines are for? Was there like some city meeting? This is what they envision. Uh, uh, it's come to my attention that we've got an awful lot of paint in the warehouse. Any ideas, Johnson? I got an idea, sir. Why don't we go paint lines all over the streets? These hands are registered weapons. Clapping weapons. When I was a kid, I hate to admit this, but my wife and I used to stand in front of a jewelry store and pretend to be looking at rings. We were just kids. She was about 18, I was about 19. And next to the jewelry store was a liquor store. That was the real, the real target. That's why we were there. And we would wait for someone to come along who kind of looked cool, and we would ask them, hey man, hey man, would you, would you buy us a couple of bottles of Boone's Farm, please? And believe it or not, we would find people that would, would go and do that for us. We'd get them away. We'd, we'd be happy. So the other day, I'm, I'm at a liquor store, and, and I, I saw some Boone's Farm. And I said, I'm going to buy that for old time's sake, because I can buy anything in here I want. I'm going to buy the Boone's Farm. Take it home. Have a little. Drink it. It tastes like mouthwash. <laughs> The way Lyrica is thought to work is it speeds up the thoughts between the actons in your brain. Unfortunately, it's also seeming to speed up those suicidal thoughts. Oh, sorry about that. We're working on it. So, it's a commercial of the ketchup. And the guy's got the ketchup, you know, and it's, it's really taken a long time to come out of the bottle, you know, and it's, it's taken forever. And the announcer in the background is going, oh, it's the slow ketchup. It's the best. It's the thickest. It's the richest ketchup. And it's taken forever. And he finally, finally gets some onto his hamburger. And he finally gets a chance. And it's, it's good. He, he likes it. But then he says to his wife, hey, honey, one at a time, will ya? Did you ever see somebody who likes to eat a bunch of weird food together, you know? And they make these weird food combinations. And they like eating them and enjoying it. And you're like going saying to yourself, you know, there's some food combinations that only make sense in a garbage can. You know, what I've often wondered about is, is all these secretaries, you know, like the Secretary of State or the Secretary of the Navy. What are these people, like, really good at shorthand? You know, or, or they can type... The, the typewriter explodes. They're, you know, they're so good. They're like the Secretary for the whole Navy, or for the whole nation. Or you know, they're like really good at getting coffee. You know, they can carry like five cups, two on their shoulders, two in their hands, one on their head. I got coffee for everybody. Here it is. The other day, my dog's out in the backyard. There's a lot of deer around here, so she likes to chase the deer out of the yard. And uh, of course, one of them kicks her. Okay, they're, they're, they can be dangerous. You don't want to mess with them. And we had to take her to the vet because got, she got kicked in the eye. She's fine. She's fine now. But safety first. I went out and bought her some little dog goggles and a dog helmet. You know, one of the things that uh, concerns me a lot these days is global warming. And uh, I'm a little concerned because I've heard of an Amish plot to make atmospheric heaters. That's right. The Amish people themselves, here you can see them. Oh, they've got those friendly little beards, sure. But they're making these atmospheric heaters, and you can see here, in their secret base in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, they have a scientist working for them, or maybe more. They're all covered up in their white gowns, because it's very important that you have on a white gown when you're working on a heater. Everyone knows that. And uh, it's very important that uh, they be stopped before they heat up the globe anymore. A Cheerios company. Enough is enough. You're confusing me. I liked it when I would go and I would go to the store and I would just buy Cheerios. That was it. 
I liked them. They were good. They tasted fine. But no. Now we've got Cheerios. Honey Nut Cheerios, Multigrain Cheerios, Banana Nut Cheerios, Cheerios Crunch, Berry Burst Cheerios, Frosted Cheerios, Apple Cinnamon Cheerios, Fruity Cheerios. Can anyone say Fruit Loops? Yogurt Burst Cheerios, Cheesy Cheerios, Burrito Cheerios, Steak and Eggs Cheerios, Cheerios and Vodka Sauce, Cheerios Flambe. I had to go out and hire a butler to, to manage my Cheerios cellar in the basement. So morning comes, Joffrey, I'm feeling like some banana nut crunch Cheerios today. Very good, sir. I'll get them for you. I don't know what these kids over there in Japan are doing to stir up all this controversy. But all I hear about is controversy surrounding the euthanasia. My wife and I went to a little event they have in Parker here. It's, uh, it's called Barker Days. And I'll take off on the word bark. In any case, it's, just, you know, it's really actually a cool thing. They open up this big swimming pool for all the dogs to go in and swim in the waiting pool and so forth. And the Good Times people were there. And they had some ice cream. And I'm going to tell you what. If you've never had ice cream with some beef gravy and dog bones on it, you don't know what you're missing. I don't know why people say that scotch tastes good. If you ever tasted it, I mean, come on, all right? So, when you find out a little bit more about the people who recommend scotch to you, oh, you should try the Glenlivet and scotch, it's wonderful, and you take a sip, you know, you find out that these same people that suggested the scotch, they like to drink gasoline. <laughs> they like to drop anvils on their feet, you know, this kind of thing. They like to eat cheese out of the garbage can. Do you have Netflix? I love it. I do. It's cool. Okay, especially that you could watch anything on the TV through the internet. It's very cool. But some of the CDs that I have got, you know, and you put it in and it doesn't play. And then you turn it over and you can just, you can just envision the family where the kid says to his mother, Mommy, we don't have any more plates. That's okay, honey. Just eat your oatmeal off that Netflix disc. I was watching a Ford Mustang commercial the other day, and uh, at the end of the commercial, they come up and they say, Ford Mustang, drive one. And I'm saying to myself, boy, was somebody mailing it in when it was time for the slogan writing? You got that slogan for us, Joe? Oh, I got it. I've been working on it all night. All night. Oh, what is it? Now, I'll show you tomorrow. I'll show you tomorrow. Drive one? That's all you can come up with? The next time somebody asks you to do something you don't want to do, here's what you say. Hello? Hell? Yeah, I can hardly hear you over the burning and the crackling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Still on fire? Still burning there? Oh, okay. All right, thanks a lot. Bye. My wife and I went down to Manitou Springs the other uh, day, and we went to a very cool place. This is a place where these uh, Anasazi cliff-dwelling people live and, and you know we saw their homes on the cliffs and all this it's very cool and they all just disappeared somehow They're, they really don't know what happened to them but i did a little research you know i'm always researching things and i did a little chart and uh, what this chart shows is uh, here's uh, here's the number of people falling off a cliff on the y-axis and here on, on the on the x-axis we see people who live near cliffs falling off the cliffs all the time People who live far away, hardly ever fall off. So I think, I think, they all fell off. That's what I'm thinking. You know, I feel bad for the Fisher Price people. I don't know if you heard about the big recall on all these tricycles, because it seems that the tricycle can be forced to, to ride down steps. It can be forced to ride right down the steps. Fisher Price is being forced to refit all of the tricycles with square wheels to prevent the children from getting hurt. I don't know if you heard about the uh, recall on some of the software for the iPad. It seems that they needed an eye patch. Congratulations for listening to an entire Ray Wilson stand-up comedy show. We'd like to thank you and your friends. You guys are the best. You're the best. What can I say? What can I say? And we promise next week to try for a few more of those punchlines. Okay. Thanks. <laughs>